Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is K1 Crew Quarters on the Moon. There's going to be two overloads and three barriers. Moving on to the build, we're going to be using Stormcaller with Chaos Reach. With Healing Rift, you could use Empowering Rift if you want. Burst Glide, Ball Lightning, and Storm Grenades. Moving on to the Aspects, Electrostatic Mind makes us when we collect an Ionic Trace, it makes us Amplified. And Arc Soul will give us increased damage just for popping our Rift. Fragments, we're going to be using Spark of Beacons while we're Amplified our Arc Special Weapon Final Blows create a Blinding Explosion. Spark of Shock makes our arc grenades jolt targets. Spark of Discharge, arc weapon final blows have a chance to create an ionic trace. And Spark of Feedback, when we take melee damage, we deal more melee damage, but you could also go for a Spark of Ions instead. Moving on to the weapons, I'm going to be using an auto rifle for the barriers, Salvager Salvo as a weapon to get most of my ad kills, and Leviathan's Breath to deal boss damage as well as champion damage. On the artifact mods, we're going to be using Thunder's Retort, which gives our super increased damage if cast while critically wounded or amplified, electric armor which gives us increased damage resistance while amplified, and not any strikes twice, after throwing an arc grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time. Moving on to the mods, we are using a hybrid build, so we're going to have an ashes to assets as well as a hands on. I'm going to have an arc siphon mod for my salvager salvo. Moving on to the gloves, heavy handed and fire power, so we have two different avenues of orb generation through both types of abilities. All these orbs are going to be used to power emergency reinforcement but it's also going to be used for innervation, invigoration, and recuperation. A powerful attraction on the mark will allow us to pick our orbs up with our rift. The exotic of choice today is Crown of Tempest. All right, moving on to the Lost Sector. In order to get the overload to spawn, we need to kill everything in this room. We're going to stun the overload with our arc grenade, thanks to Spark of Shock. Watch out for the exploding shanks in this hallway. There will be a barrier in this room. Champion has appeared, so we're going to pop our rift. The Arc Soul is phenomenal at taking out the exploding shanks. We're going to try to kill as much stuff coming down this hill as possible so that we can make sure our overload spawns on time. We're going to stun this overload again with another Spark of Shock grenade. I was a bit worried about the four snipers here, so I've been playing a little bit passive. This barrier up here on the turn is one of the more annoying champions they take care of in this lost sector. For the boss, we're just going to be shooting the Viathan's Breath at it until the barrier spawns. The barrier will come right over to the boss, allowing us to hit both of them at once. Once we can pop the barrier shield, we're just going to pop Chaos Reach to kill both of them at the same time. Once you kill both of them, that's all there is to it today. Happy farming.